Hello, hello, everybody. Um, if you are catching this part of the video, I want to say hello and welcome. You are most likely catching the replay. This is a live recording on Thursday, October 28th. So I am going to give it a second to let people jump on and join me live. Uh, I see we have somebody here. Um, please leave a comment. This is streaming both to Facebook and YouTube. So whichever platform you're on, I can see comments from both. So from both. That sounded very Canadian how I said that. <laughs> um, so please say hi as you join and let me know where you're watching from if uh, I don't already know. Hi, Alicia. Thanks for joining. Hi, Anne. Hi, Mom. All right. We've got some people here. That's so exciting. Thanks for joining. Um, tonight is my first ever. Hi, Keisha and Deb. Tonight is my first ever class to go live video. And you might be thinking, what is that? So basically, I have still hear me. There I am. I'm back. Um, so I designed three cards using the Joyful Life stamp set and um, offered them to my customers to purchase. And I'm going to pop this up here because you can still actually get these kits if you would like through Sunday, October 31st. But if you place an order in my online store of $25 or more buying whatever you want, um, using this host code down at the bottom of the screen, right? there, uh, B2JSBMQS, then you can get one of these card kits for free. I'll mail it to you for free. And then you can just watch this replay to see how to put the cards together. Um, or you can purchase the kit, the card kit for $20. And if you'd like to do that, let me know. And of course, that's only open to US residents to follow Stampin' Up's policies. So Keisha, I know you're in Canada. So sorry, but I'm glad you're here to watch anyway. Um, okay, so uh, one more thing I'm going to mention before I flip my camera down is that um, this week I've been running a trick or treat event uh, on my social media channels. And so that is a free event and you just visit, you know, you can check out, I have a blog post about it. So go on my blog, um, stampwithmelissa.com. You can catch the whole story there, right? Um, and each day there's somewhere different that a ghost color is. And those ghost colors are based on Stampin' Up! colors, of course. And today's color, Thursday's color is going to be dropped in this video. So stay tuned. I know I said it would be on YouTube, but I streamed to Facebook too. So those of you who are watching me on Facebook, you will see the color today, even though I said it would be on YouTube. So um, yeah, super exciting. You can still catch up and play. Uh, tomorrow's color will be the final one. That'll be on Instagram. I don't think you need an Instagram account. You can, yeah, Keisha, I'm happy you are still able to watch too. Um, I don't think you need an Instagram account to see that color. You just have to be able to get to my account. But if you do have an Instagram account and you don't follow me, you should. <laughs> All right, um, let's go ahead and flip down. There we go. And so uh, as I mentioned, we're gonna use Joyful Life tonight. If you have this card kit, and you are making it along with me tonight, um, and you don't have the Joyful Life stamp set, that's okay, substitute for something that you do have, okay? But this stamp set can be found on page 63 of the July through December mini catalog, and it is so cute. I am all about cutesy stamp sets. And can you tell, one of my cards is cased from this guy right here. I thought that was so cute, so I wanted to include it. Okay, so let me move this catalog out of the way and the stamp set out of the way. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. Now, um, I'll show you this actually. So these cards will be uh, photographed and put on my blog tomorrow. Um, and that will come out at 8 a.m. Central Time. I did that just to make it a little bit easier for you to be able to look back at these photos to see how to make the cards, especially if you can't join me live. Um, but the uh, this PDF will also be on my blog tomorrow and that has all of the products used in each of these cards. As we go tonight, I'll let you know what I'm using, but you can also download this on my blog tomorrow, all right? And I'm gonna use it as a little cheat sheet to make sure I have everything all set. Um, if you got a kit, it looks like this. Let's go ahead and open it up. Yours actually looks a little, little tiny bit different than mine because um, I sent you a strip of these, but look at that one like rogue. <laughs> embellishment just like came off of the plastic so I gave myself this little piece here to deal with that little troublesome embellishment that little elegant faceted gem that decided to go a little rogue um okay so you are going to have three card kits here you've got a mossy meadow base a cajun craze base and a cinnamon cider base we're going to start with the one right on top cinnamon cider and 
We're gonna pull out what's inside. And of course the envelope is so that you can send this card when we're done. Make sure you send your cards, right? <laughs> there is no hoarding allowed. So send these cards out, okay? All right, so when you open up your kit, you have a cinnamon cider card base, a soft sea foam layer, a cinnamon cider layer that has been embossed, or yes, embossed die cut with the stitched greenery die set. Hi, Debbie, thanks for joining. Um, so you have those, then you're also going to have a soft sea foam circle. I know it kind of looks white in the lighting, but it is soft sea foam. Uh, then you'll also have a basic white circle here. That's a little bit better maybe, so you can tell the difference. Um, you'll also have a little tiny scrap of petal pink, and then you'll have the this little um, bit of the diamond weave ribbon. That's what it's called. Okay, so I am going to bring in a scrap piece of paper because I just like stamping on these, even though it's messy. <laughs> and I'm going to start with this basic white circle here. I'll show you. This is the card we're going to make right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my black ink. And we're going to stamp the cute little piggy. I love this little piggy holding coffee. He's just so stinking cute, don't you think? He's just so adorable. All right, so we're gonna get him stamped on that basic white circle. Actually, I'll leave that ink out because we're not done with it. Um, I'm just gonna move those to the side so I don't get them in the way. All right, so then I've got this stamp here that says friends like you make life a joy. Now on this petal pink piece, all we're really aiming for here is this bottom part of the sentiment, okay? So I'm going to be very strategic. Stra yeah, that is the word. Oh my gosh. I think I told you guys in my live video on Tuesday, I woke up with a cold on Sunday and I'm a little bit out of it. <laughs> but you can see I kind of inked up the bottom of friend a little bit. That's okay. I'm just going to be careful and try to get just the bottom bit on that petal pink. And you know what, I, I got a little bit of that friend on the top, but it's not a big deal because we're just gonna cut it off. And if you like how it says friend, I know that the petal pink piece you got isn't big enough to include that friends. Um, but if you like it and you wanna keep it on, go for it. Cut yourself some petal pink and use it. But I, yes, the pig is adorable. And Keisha says this is her favorite set right now along with the polar bears. You know what, I have only used the polar bear set one time. I can't even believe it only once um but it is adorable and i do have plans to use it way more <laughs> i'm hoping this weekend i will have lots of time to craft okay so you can see there that i just used my trimmer to trim off where it said friend hopefully you can see that and now we're going to go ahead and color in this piggy i'm going to leave my scrap paper in here and we're going to take some petal pink blends again if you don't have every product that i'm using um, that's okay. Just use what you do have. All right. So we're going to use petal pink to color in the pig. And let's see, I'm just using the dark. What should we chat about today while we color? Because we're going to do a bit of coloring today. Um, this joyful life set. Can I tell you guys a secret? So I'm really into these cute sets, right? I always gravitate towards the cute set. But when I went through the catalog for the first time, I did not love this set. Am I crazy or what? <laughs> I didn't. I just like, I looked at that set and I was like, oh, it's cute, but I don't need it. And I think I had more of like a budgeting mindset, which is like, it was silly of me because it was the Christmas catalog. Of course, I was going to buy everything I loved because I love Christmas and I go a little bit crazy when it comes to that catalog. <laughs> Every year I go a little bit crazy. So I was like, no, I don't need it. And then my friend Jamie made a card with it. And I was like, mm, I really, really want it. So then I bought it. And now I'm I'm so smitten. I think this is definitely my most used stamp set out of the whole catalog. And I just, I can't even believe I told you guys that. It was just to, just to like, I don't know. Just to be super transparent with you. I just, I can't believe I didn't want this set <laughs> at first. I, maybe I was just in denial. Like I said, it was all budget reasons. Um, oh, Keisha said next week is polar bear week. Ooh, that sounds fun. Um, is that like shark week <laughs> in the U S at least we have shark week that goes crazy. Is that kind of similar? Um, all right. So I've got my soft sea foam blends now, and I'm going to use the dark one on the stripes. I know some of you are stamping along with me, so you're probably not going to comment much. 
Um, you can let me know if I'm going too fast or too slow, but uh, hopefully I'm keeping up a good pace so that those who aren't stamping with us don't get too bored. <laughs> um, and then of course you can always catch the replay because that will be available immediately following the video. All right, then I'm going to pull in my light one. Uh, Alicia says she likes all things cutesy and it took her until now to get it. I know, isn't that like crazy? Because yeah, I'm so like the, uh, oh my gosh, what's it called? I think it's Stellar Birthday, that like space set in the annual catalog. As soon as I saw that, I was like, mine. <laughs> and I remember, you know, people were like, what are you going to use it for? And I was like, everything. <laughs> like, I don't care if somebody likes space or not. I'm still going to use it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to use this soft sea foam blend still. I know I stamped my pig really close to the bottom of this circle. Um, but I am just going to add a little bit of soft sea foam down here. And this is the light color just to kind of ground my pig a little bit. I know that I can't remember who it was, but somebody who watched my live recently reminded me of the grounding, not like you're in trouble, but like grounding your object so it doesn't look like they're floating. Um, so I am trying to be better at that. <laughs> Love the bee jolly. Yes, the Santa set. Isn't he cute too? I just got the Santa set um, probably a maybe a month ago. Uh, which that one was more like, you know, it's so wintry that I didn't need it right away because I just didn't. But yes, I think Be Jolly is really cute. And I also think that Be Jolly is going to probably be, I, oh, I'm, I'm going to say this and then I have to commit. I think Be Jolly is going to be the set that I'm going to use um, for the November class to go because it's so cute. It's so cute. All right. so. You can see here that I used seal to um, lay the cinnamon cider onto the soft sea foam and then to lay that on top of the uh, cinnamon cider card base. So then we'll go ahead and burnish that with the bone folder. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a little strip of adhesive over here on the left hand side. If you can see that there you can it's shiny. Um, and then I'm going to take my diamond weave ribbon and I know I didn't really like cut these edges very pretty so go ahead and do that if you want to and I'm just going to go ahead and fold that over and then stick it down on the card and then we're going to use dimensionals to pop up our little scalloped circle now I'm going to be careful here we don't want to put a dimensional directly on this left hand side so I'm going to flip it over so it's you know like a 180 flip there um, and so we don't we don't want anything to go over that ribbon because we don't want it to get too bulky so I'm going to leave that area kind of free open <laughs> and we'll go ahead and flip this guy up and stick him down right about there and then I've got the um, sentiment here and I'm actually wait sorry pardon my reach on the camera there I'm going to go ahead and cut down this dimensional oops the backing came off so we'll just remove it entirely um, I'm going to cut down this dimensional in half so that it fits a little bit better on this sentiment. Again, we're going to be careful on the left-hand side. So I'm going to put one there. And just because I cut it in half, we'll put another one like in the middle. Um, and then I'll even add just a little bit of seal maybe uh, right there. Can you see that? Um, I'm trying to see. I think you can see that. But uh, it's hard to restrict the Christmas sets. Uh, yes, when we want them all, I know. <laughs> and then I just like, I just buy them all. <laughs> well, not all of them, but the ones I really love, I just like, you get to a point where you can't imagine not owning it. Do you know what I mean? And that sounds a little bit ridiculous, but it's like, I can't not have this, you know? <laughs> and then it's like, all right, I have it. And even with this set, I was like, no, I don't need it. I don't need it. And then I got it and I was like, why didn't I buy it sooner? <laughs> so you know, not to be an enabler or anything, but there you have it. This is so stuck. Hold on. Oh, that's why. Because the tape is right there since I cut, I had to cut down, you know, these packs. Um, and so the tape was stuck on my plastic. So I'm going to set that over there. Um, and then uh, you are going to have, you have two rows of each here. And so for this first card, we're going to use these ones on the left. And they are kind of like the white shiny ones. I actually kind of think they look like snowflakes a little bit. Um, kind of pretty. But I'm just going to use two of them. Of course, you have extras. 
So you can use all four if you want. I believe each card is different. Yep. So these ones on the left are for the first card. The ones in the middle are for the last card. And then these clear ones are going to be used on the second card. So you can use all four of those if you would like. Okay. So there is our first card. Isn't it cute? So cute. And I didn't do insides for these guys, but of course, we always love a decorated inside. So go for it. Um, so yeah, there's the first card. Okay, so let me set that off to the side and then we're gonna get ready to do the second card, but I'm going to clean up like a tiny bit just so I don't get things in the way. There we go. Okay, so our second card is going to be this one. Super cute and it uses the picture this dies. And you guys, I have a stack of all of these cutouts that are so fun to find uses for. Ah, oh, thanks Alicia. Um, they're so fun to find uses for. So let's go ahead and do this one. And I will grab my card kit here. We're going to pull this out. And you just want to make sure, you know, everything comes out of that envelope. <laughs> Sometimes they want to stay hidden, right? All right. So here in this guy, you have got a Cajun Craze card base. You've got a piece of basic white here. This is actually for the outside. It's going to go under this piece of basic white, which was die cut with that picture, this die set. And then I embossed it with the brick and mortar 3D embossing folder. And then you're going to have a square of pear pizzazz, a square of pale papaya, and three squares of this Harvest Meadow DSP. And I believe, uh, I believe I was able to give everybody the same pattern. So I think it's all the wheat pattern. Okay, so then what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna pull in my scrap paper again. And I'm gonna start with this pear pizzazz square. And we're gonna go ahead and take the leaf stamp and our pear pizzazz ink and stamp the leaves all over it. Oh, Alicia says she needs this die. <laughs> well, I know you have a large wish list, so I guess it's just another thing to add, huh? <laughs> um, it is a super fun die set. Another one that I just got recently. So um, I really liked that sample in the catalog that where they use this with Joyful Life, and I thought it was super cute. I was actually trying to figure out how to get the rectangle set to work with it because this die set has both the circles that cut out and then also some rectangles. And I was trying to figure out how to get the rectangles to work, um, but I just couldn't get them where I loved them. So I went with the circles. <laughs> so, oh, Alicia says true. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So that is for our pear pizzazz. And I'll move that guy off to the side. And then we will go ahead and use our pale papaya square and Cajun craze ink. I'm going to open this guy up and we're going to use the stamp that says for you because I thought that was cute and pretty generic. You know, you could use this uh, card for anything. All right, we're going to stamp right in the center there. You can see I'm a little bit low, but it's okay because it's fine. <laughs> Hi, Kathleen from Florida. I bet it's nice in Florida today in Minnesota. It was very rainy, um, but that's okay. I love the rain. Honestly, it's my favorite weather besides snow. I will admit to that. I love snow. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna go ahead and stamp that bear and on the bike, okay? So I've got my black ink out and my bear and bicycle. And here's the important part because we need to get this pretty lined up, right? So I have laid the uh, die cut on top and I've got it pretty well lined. Oh, Kathleen says they had lots of rain today too. Well, um, that sounds like a lovely day to me. <laughs> Unless you're at like Disney World or something. That doesn't sound so great. But all right. So we need to get this pretty lined up. So you can see here what I'm doing is I'm, I've am i got this lined up where I want it. I'm going to slip out that die cut and keep everything else where it was and stamp down. Now we're going to check. Oh, see, I kind of it didn't give me a great image. Can you see that? Which I might just leave it. Honestly, I might just leave it. But I am going to check and make sure that everything, yeah, look at that. Everything made it in that circle. Now you can see here, we've got the bicycle that is showing through on the other circles. It's okay, because we're gonna cover it up with some of this extra paper. All right, so I am gonna leave that. You know, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna move this bear off to the side and then we're gonna go ahead and color in the bear. And I should say bear and friends. I'm going to start with petal pink to do the bunny. So we're going to go ahead and use the darker one to color those little accent pieces. And I'm being a little bit careful here. 
and just to make sure I don't go in the basket. Um, let's see, we'll do his ear too. So cute, so cute. All right, then we'll use the light one to go in and color the rest of the bunny. And let me know if you're stamping along with me. Let me know if I'm if I've got some pretty good um, pace. Uh, Kathleen, the name of the die, this die, is the picture this die set. And actually, let me grab it out and I'll show you. Um, let's see where it is. Let's see. Here it is. Okay, so it's called the picture this die set. So we, I used this circle one for this card, but then there's also this really cool rectangle one. And the best part about it, here's just one of the circles, is that all of these stitch or they all come out with a stitched edge. I don't know if you can see it very well. Um, yeah, you kind of can, I think. But yeah, they all come out with that stitched edge too, which is awesome because uh, we used to have a stitched circle set, um, a die set, and I loved that set. And Stampin' Up! unfortunately got rid of it. Um, what color is the 4U? The 4U is Cajun Craze, um, the ink color, yes. But Stampin' Up! got rid of that set, and so I'm at least glad to have these to uh, fill its spot. <laughs> um, all right, so then I've got my dark Cajun Craze blends. We're going to use that for the basket. And color this guy in. And then we'll use the light one to finish up that basket. Now, you don't have to color everything in here, just what's going to be seen through that circle. Um, let's see. There we go. My light one kind of looks a little bit more brown. So Alicia, you said you're playing along, so am I going at a good pace? <laughs> All right, then we're gonna use crumb cake. And you guys, I have a confession to make. I still haven't replaced my crumb cake blends. It's on my list for my November 1st order. So hopefully I will get that done this time. I am so bad. They've been, it's been like frayed forever. I'll show you guys. It's like, can you see it very well? It's frayed to the point where it like doesn't really go where you want it to go, where you're thinking it will go, but whatever. <laughs> I've been making it work. Even, even my light one actually is like kind of out of ink, but we're going to make it work for this card. It just is, I'm using the fine tip end, which is not ideal, but it's all right. Gets the job done, right? All right. So we've got that. I'm going to color his legs too, just because a little bit of the legs show. I just don't need to do all of the legs. So we'll go ahead. So you can see that color is getting really light on me there and that's because it's running out. So I need to replace these, but we'll probably go about that far. That should be good. And then don't forget the hands. I always forget to color in the hands. And look at that. I forgot to color in the bunny's tail too. So I'm gonna grab my light petal pink back and color in that bunny's tail. You could leave it white, that would be cute. And I think that's like kind of realistic. All right, I'm going at a good pace and Alicia says she needs a new one too. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, then I'm gonna use my Granny Apple Green Blends. And I think we talked about this the other day in my live. Alicia had mentioned that she wished Stampin' Up! had um, Pear Pizzazz Blends. Unfortunately, they don't. And I'm assuming that the reason they don't is just because they couldn't get the color to be distinct enough from like the old olive and the granny apple green. Um, that's my assumption. I don't know that for sure, but uh, I just usually use granny apple green to substitute in for pear pizzazz whenever I need the blends. So uh, that's what I'm doing. If we had pear pizzazz blends, then that's what I would be using, but we don't. And I'm going to save that granny apple green because we're gonna use it again on our last card. And then we'll color in the rest of his sweater with the light. And then we're gonna start assembling everything. All right, so there's that. And we'll make sure first that everything is colored that is exposed. And again, we're just looking at this circle here and everything looks good to me. So we are going to continue on. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use my liquid glue and I'm just going to place a dot in each corner. All right, so we're starting with this pale papaya sentiment piece. Then I'm gonna take this guy, and I'm sorry if my head gets in the way, and I'm just gonna center it over there so it looks good to me. Now you see right here that um, my 
Hill papaya piece is kind of peeking out. Oh, yes, Alicia says she loves the bear and bunny. Me too. They're so cute. All of them are so cute. Um, okay, so you can see that it's poking out. Now, this is probably going to happen on your card too. Um, and so what I'm going to do is just trim it off. And I'm even going to, like, get under it, right? Because it doesn't matter what it looks like on the backside. It just matters that you can't see it through the front. Okay, let me get this little scrap piece in the trash there. And then we're going to go ahead and add all these other pieces. So we're going to go ahead and we'll do our leaves next. Um, and the reason I like to do them in the corners instead of just putting them on the back of the piece is because uh, with some of them, you don't know how much space it actually like covers on the back. And then, uh, oh, you made, yes, Alicia, I saw that. Alicia made a fantastic card for her, her husband today using this stamp set, using this stamp in particular. Um, and the Give It a World Eyes, which was super cool. She made it for her husband, which is so special. Um, but what I was saying is that sometimes you don't, like, you don't know how far off it will go. And so I like to just put the dots on the corners. Um, and then, you know, it's less stickiness on the back if I miss. <laughs> All right. So we've got that little piece there. And we're going to stick that down. And then this way, too, I can make sure that, like, the part I like the best is showing through. All right, then we'll do this one and line that up. The biggest thing is that you just don't want the ends to show through because um, then, you know, you can tell, right? All right, then we'll go ahead and do this final one here. And I like this card. Oops, did you see I almost put it there? <laughs> that would have been kind of silly if I was like, what's going on? <laughs> you can tell I'm a little bit dazed and confused, right? No, I'm, it's all good. It's all good. It's just this cold has like got me kind of like a little bit wacky today. <laughs> I'm, I'm just tired. That's what it is. All right. So we're going to go ahead and add, actually, I'm going to use my seal and I'm going to add some adhesive to the back of this. I suppose we can get rid of that grid paper now. So I'm going to just run some adhesive here all around because it is an embossed piece i want to make sure there's lots of seal um, to make sure everything can stick skipping that circle there we'll even run on the back of some of these guys and then we are going to get this lined up on our bicycle bear piece bicycle bunny bear that's what we'll say say that five times fast <laughs> Oh, thank you, Kathleen. She said, good tip about putting glue just in the corners. Yes, I hope that that works out for you guys, too. All right, so now that we've got that, we'll admire it. Look at it. It turned out so well. All right, then we're going to add some seal to the back of this piece. You could also use dimensionals if you'd like. And then we'll get that centered on our card front. Just like that. And I thought this was kind of a nice masculine card, too. Um, and you could easily, I mean, with the for you on the front, you could attach like a gift to it or you could um, put a birthday message on the inside, something like that. Yeah, tired sillies. That is the best way to put it, Alicia. My tired sillies. <laughs> All right. So we are going to use these clear dots next and I'm just going to pop them on the card here. Like that. Look at that. So there is that card. Isn't that so fun? All right. Now, before we go on to the last card, I am going to move these out of the way. And, ooh, I just almost got ink all over my finger, but I didn't. Okay. I am going to drop the color for today's trick or treat challenge. So hold on one second. Let me find it here. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> okay. So let's see. Here we go. Today's color is pumpkin pie. So um, if you are not sure what I'm talking about, I will explain it again super fast, which is that I'm running a trick or treat event on my social media channels this week. It started on Monday and it ends tomorrow. Each day there is a graphic that looks like this with a ghost that has a different color and you just keep track of the colors every day. And then tomorrow after the last one drops, you can fill out a form and um, everybody who, and again, I'm sorry to Keisha because I know she's in Canada and this is only for U.S. residents because the prizes are physical product, but um, everybody who submits correctly, um, which is just the day with the color, 
uh, will win a mystery bag. I know what's in the mystery bag. You don't know what the what's in the mystery bag. That's what makes it fun. <laughs> um, so you will receive a mystery bag, and I'll ship those out next week. And then on Sunday, October 31st, Halloween, at around 11 a.m. Central Time, I'm going to go live on Facebook and take everyone who entered in a wheel, and I'll spin the wheel, and whoever it lands on will also get a $50 shopping spree. So super excited for that. Um, if you have not yet been participating, you still can. Uh, just go back and see what the colors were each day. Um, but yeah, today's color is pumpkin pie. All right, I'm going to take that away and pop back. And we're going to go ahead and do our final card. So this time we've got this cute one just in time for Christmas. <laughs> all right, and this one uses the porcupine. So we have used all of the animals on these cards. All right, let's grab this card kit. And when we pull it out, we have got, let's see, what do we have? What do we have? All right, we have a mossy meadow card base, a mossy meadow layer. Um, hold on one second. I'm getting a notification that my earbuds are dying. So let me switch in the other one and wait for it to connect. Maybe. Let me know if you guys can still hear me or not, okay? Hopefully you can, but if I go out, somebody comment and say, I can't hear you. All right, but we've got a mossy meadow embossed piece, and then we have a basic white square, um, a heartwarming hugs DSP square, your pattern might be different, a basic white circle, and then two pieces of this red, real red ruffled ribbon. One will be longer than the other. And finally, a real red um, scrap piece, all right? And this is for the sentiment. So let's go ahead and do our stamping first. Of course, we'll bring back this guy and our black ink pad. And we're gonna go ahead and stamp this cute little porcupine. Making sure I get, maybe my ink is almost out. Maybe that's why I didn't get a good image last time. So let's make sure we get a great image this time, right? And, ooh, nice. <laughs> All right, so there is that guy. And then, we will go ahead and color him in. So I am going to use our bronze and ivory um, blends. So with the ivory, I'm gonna color like his face, everything that doesn't have the quills. So we've got the face here, we'll do like the hands um, and his cute little feet. All right, so we've got that, we'll do the hands and the feet, and then we'll use the bronze to do the quills. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this guy. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. I'm like panicked now that I'm gonna go out and you won't be able to hear me. So fingers crossed that doesn't happen. But I know my mom is watching and she'll tell me. <laughs> she'll tell me. All right, so we will color this guy in. I love this porcupine, he's so cute. I know I don't give him as much love as I do the pig. The pig is the one I love the most. All right. Yeah, he's so dang cute. And Keisha says she can still hear. So that is a good sign. All right. I love that porcupine. All right. Kathleen says she can hear too. So that's good. Hopefully, if, if this one dies, hopefully this one has already picked it up. So hopefully we're good. <laughs> okay. So then I've got my smoky slate blends and i am going to use the light one here just to ground this uh porcupine do you guys think it's a porcupine or a hedgehog i've been saying porcupine but maybe it's a hedgehog i had a friend in middle school who had um a hedgehog well a couple of hedgehogs and i was always so terrified to hold them like just terrified because I didn't want them to poke me. <laughs> All right. So I um, did the dark one just on the outline of this apron here, just to kind of give it some dimension. Um, oh, Kathleen says she thinks it's a hedgehog. All right. And oh, let's see. Keisha says she saw somebody cut out the berries and add a cake. Ooh, that is a cool idea. That That's pretty neat. I like that. And, you know, I saw a few people who took the holly berry out, um, just, or the holly leaf, not the holly berry, the holly leaf 
I've seen a few people cut that out, like fussy cut it and just not include that in. Um, okay, I just got the dying message from this one. So can you still hear me with this one? <laughs> Hopefully you can. I'm going to keep talking like you can. Um, okay, so we'll color in these apples with the light real red. And then we will do the granny apple green with the um, leaf here. There we go. And that was the dark one. I just used the dark one. I think it's it's small enough that I just used one. Um, okay, Kathleen and Alicia both said yes. So I'm going to take that as yes, you can still hear me, which is good. All right. So then we're going to take this little real red piece and our black ink and we'll go ahead and stamp our sentiment. Such a small piece. So make sure that doesn't get like lost or, you know, stuck in your envelope. And we will go ahead and stamp this down. Just like that. Super cute. You could also um, heat emboss that with white embossing powder. I think that would look really nice. Um, but I didn't do it for this one. And then we'll go ahead and assemble. All right. Now I have to decide, do I want this side or this side? I think I want this side. But you can use, like I said, everybody got different designer series paper. Use whichever side you want. Or if for some reason you don't like the pattern you got and you have a different paper you want to use, go ahead and use it. <laughs> All right, so we'll get that centered. And then I am going to run some adhesive on the back here and take my longer strip of the ribbon. We'll go ahead and wrap that around. Just like this. Wrap that. And then I'm going to use my dimensionals to, oh, wait. Before I do that, I should probably get this piece adhered. So I'm going to use seal to adhere this mossy metal layer onto the card front. So we'll center that on there, just like that. We'll go ahead and burnish that. And then we'll use our dimensionals to pop this guy onto the card front. Okay, so I'll probably use six dimensionals. <laughs> I have um, a demonstrator friend in Australia and her husband uses like a whole sheet of dimensionals. Like if he were putting this piece on the card front, he would use all of these dimensionals. Uh, like he just loves them <laughs> and he doesn't want anything to be saggy. So, but I think six is enough for this guy. All right, so then we've got that centered on to our card front and then we will go ahead and get our porcupine or hedgehog. And so again, I'm going to make sure to center right, you know, on the top and bottom here because I don't want anything to lay on top of that ribbon. Actually, we'll probably put two on each side here. On the top and bottom, I mean, not on the sides. And peel those backings off and then stick that guy. And I'm going to pull him over towards the right of the card a little bit more because I want to use this piece now to slip in here. And then I'm just going to tie a little knot. And well, there we go. Just to add a little bit of interest, but that leaving him over to the side more gives us more space for that. So, all right, then we've got this piece. I'm going to put a dimensional on the right hand side and some seal on the left hand side so it can stick to our circle. And I definitely just got adhesive on my mat, but it's okay. Um, don't want any saggy middles. Yep. I'm going to highlight that comment, Kathleen, because that is funny. We don't want any saggy middles. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> All right. So then we're going to go ahead and stick this guy down. And I'm going to put him right about here. Right about here. Sorry, Keisha. I didn't mean to. That was a Canadian way I said that. But I think that I think I thought of Robin Sparkles, if you know about, you know, the show How I Met Your Mother. Um, she always says a boot <laughs> and I like that. All right. So I am going to try to pick up this troublesome embellishment and use it um, and stick it right there. But those, I've got a big one and a little one. And that is from that middle set there. So there we go. Look at how cute they turned out. Oh, thank you, Kathleen, for sharing. Yes, please share this video. Um, that really helps me out. And I super, super appreciate it. All right, let me pull in our other cards we made. And let's see. So there's the third one. There's the second one. And then here is the first one. Look at how cute they turned out. 
And I hope you guys, oh yeah, Alicia says she loved that show. I do too. Um, I will say I'm more of a Friends fan than a How I Met Your Mother fan. Um, but I do really like How I Met Your Mother also. And actually I've been to the bar in New York City that inspired McLaren's. So that was pretty cool. Um, oh, thanks mom. Um, all right, well, if you were crafting along with me live, I hope you had so much fun and made some cute cards. And oh, thanks Keisha. Um, and if you live in the US and you would like one of these card kits, I'm gonna pop this back up on the screen real fast. You can place an order in my online store of at least $25 before tax and shipping using that host code there, B2JSBMQS. Um, you can do that or you can purchase a card kit for $20. And if you'd like to do that, just send me a message and I will get you connected there. Um, oh, Alicia said great fun. I'm glad you had fun. Um, and let's see, November's or this one will be good through October 31st. So that's the last day to earn or purchase it. Um, of course, if you place like a $50 order, just keep in mind, I'll send you one kit, not two. All right. So keep that in mind. Um, but I suppose if you want to buy it for 20 bucks and you want to, that's fine. <laughs> just let me know. Um, all right. I do have a couple left. So help me get rid of them. <laughs> I will say. Um, and then November's class to go, you can start earning that on Monday because somehow Monday is already November 1st. That's insane to me. But Somehow that's a thing. So <laughs> that one you can earn um, from the first through the 30th. So, uh, and we will do the next class to go. I believe it is the night before Thanksgiving. And let me just verify that really fast. I'm pulling my calendar up. Uh, yes, it is. So on Wednesday, November 24th at seven o'clock is when we will do the November class to go. And again, if you can't join me live, if you're busy prepping for Thanksgiving, that's fine. The replay is always available. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. I'm glad you were here with me. It always makes it way more fun to craft when you're here chatting along. So, um, I hope you have a happy Halloween. And my next live will actually be on Halloween to announce the winner of Trick or Treat. So stay tuned for that. But otherwise, I will see you on Tuesday, November 2nd for my weekly live video. Please give this video a big thumbs up or a heart if you're on Facebook and like or subscribe to my channel or page wherever you are. Um, yeah, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye for now.